All right, dude, you were drunk when this happened, so you might not remember any of this. But we were at a tailgate hanging out, and you wanted me to show you what swiping on the apps was like. So I showed you Hinge for a little bit, and then I showed you Bumble for a little bit. On Bumble, we came across that profile who said she wasn't looking for a date. She was an art student and needed a model for a class. She was pretty hot, even though I'm pretty sure she had paint in her hair in one of her pics. <laughs> Hey, I'm into it. <laughs> she was a genuine Laney Boggs from She's All That. Do you remember that movie? Well, anyways, you made me swipe right on her, and we matched. We thought she was bluffing, but she actually did need an art model. And then you told me I didn't have the balls to actually be her model. Well, guess what? I do have the balls. Yeah, I'm heading up to her apartment right now. I just wanted to let you know so that if you don't hear from me by tomorrow, then it means I've been catfished and maybe killed. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about what type of art this is going to be. I don't think it's supposed to be nude. She didn't say, and I felt weird about asking. But honestly, it's kind of exciting to not have any clue what's about to happen. This is just some wild ride that will go where it goes and stop when it stops. Well, of course I made sure to trim just in case. If there's even a remote chance that my goods are going to be on display, then I want them to look their best. But I really think this is for portrait type stuff, and she just needs a guy with a strong jaw and broad shoulders. Or maybe she really is looking for a date, and this is all some super elaborate filtering process. Endless possibilities, man. All right, dude. I'm here. See ya. Hi. I'm glad to see you're the same girl as the pictures. We're off to a great start. Wow. You've got your whole place set up for artistic endeavors. You must be top of your class. Do you live alone? Because if you had a roommate, they'd probably want to use the dining table for food instead of watercolors. This piece is really good. Is that charcoal? She looks beautiful and mysterious. Actually, she kind of looks like you. Is this a self-portrait? Sister? Ah, well... I definitely see the resemblance. So I guess we should just get right to it. Actually, before we get started, tell me why you chose me and what type of project this is. Oh, you needed someone with broad shoulders and blue eyes? I guess the shoulders part. Oh, so from my shoulders down is what you need for your art project. But the eyes part was for you. <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? I like that. I'm a classic overanalyzer. It's refreshing not to have to guess. So the project is the human body, and you need half of your canvas to be masculine and half of your canvas to be feminine. And they're kind of intertwined in the same piece that's interesting so who did you use for the feminine form you used yourself yeah I'd love to see it oh wow you are exceptionally talented how did you do this just with a mirror impressive Yeah, I suppose I might be staring a little bit. Sorry. It's hard not to. Okay, tell me how you want me. My shirt? Yeah, I can take it off. Stay standing? Standing over here? Okay. Yeah, you can... Move me however you need me. Be careful, though. 
putting your hand on my chest like that. I don't know what it is, but there's something about when a woman puts her hand on my chest that just sort of unlocks a wave of... Well, never mind. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mysterious. I'm just trying not to be too forward. Why not? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose you are. Okay. The word I was going to use was desire. When you touch my body, I feel desire. If that's what you're trying to do, then well done, I guess. Okay, I won't move. I'll stand here as a pillar of chiseled stone. Um, yeah, you can loosen my belt if you need to. Can I see what you have so far? And why not? Ah, yes, an artist never shows her work before it's finished. But you did already showed me half of the unfinished piece. You know, I thought I might be bored just being in the same spot for a long period of time. But watching you is pretty fascinating. My pants and my boxers. Yeah, I suppose that is the most masculine part of my body. I assumed this part was coming, especially after you showed me the feminine half of the canvas. You seem like you want to say something. Don't start being shy now. The die is cast. I'm already standing here completely naked at this point. Or nude, I guess is the word they use in your world. You need me to be... <laughs> be what? You're turning really red right now. Is it that hard a question to ask? <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I'm just enjoying watching you fidget and squirm. If you're having trouble with your words, then come here. Put your hand on my chest like it was before. Maybe that will get you what you're too nervous to ask for. Yeah, just like that. Now look in my eyes. Just like that. Okay, I'm clearly ready. Better head back to your canvas and capture the moment before it fades away. I like watching you walk. You have a beautiful figure. So do I. Thank you. That actually means a lot, coming from an artist. All done? I can put my clothes back on? You know, normally I make a girl at least take me out to dinner before I let her see me naked and boss me around. <laughs> We skipped a step or two. No, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm suggesting that maybe there's more to this story. I want to see you again. Let me take you on a date. Are you free this weekend? Great. 
Before we get into those details, let me see the canvas. Wow, that looks really good. Most pictures of me I hate, but not this one. Do you get to keep it once you get graded? Sweet. Because I wouldn't mind seeing this again sometime. Yeah, I do think I'll see it again. After our date, I'm going to walk you to your car. And then I'm going to tell you how beautiful you look. And then I'm going to kiss you goodnight. From that moment on, I think you're going to want to see a lot more of me. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? I'll text you tonight and we can decide on the details. Good luck with your project.